Welcome to the Biochem Surya Pocket Lecture on Coenzymes. In this video, we will be discussing coenzymes, which are part of the important components in the catalysis of chemical reactions. We will start by reviewing the definition of coenzymes, their functions, classification, and examples. We cannot possibly discuss all the 11 coenzymes in this video, so we just tackle the four members of the first group of coenzymes, those that participate in redox reactions. These coenzymes are involved in the exchange of electrons or hydrogen ions or protons during certain reactions. We will discuss the next group of coenzymes, those that carry groups other than hydrogen ions and electrons, in the next video. And for each and every coenzyme, we will be discussing its chemistry, structural features, properties, and the reactions they help catalyze. Before we dive into the chemistry of coenzymes, let us define and differentiate certain terms like cofactors, coenzymes, co-substrates, apoenzymes, and holoenzymes. They are usually a source of confusion, and it is worthwhile that we differentiate one from the others at the onset of this lecture. First of all, the word enzyme is the all-encompassing word defined as a substance that acts as a catalyst in living organisms, regulating the rate at which chemical reactions proceed without itself being altered in the process. The term holoenzyme refers to the active enzyme with its non-protein component, whereas the enzyme without its non-protein moiety is termed an apoenzyme and is inactive. The non-protein portion of the holoenzyme is called a cofactor. Thus, cofactor is basically a non-protein chemical compound or metallic ion that is required for an enzyme's activity as a catalyst. Cofactors can be considered as helper molecules, molecules that assist in biochemical transformations. Cofactors can be divided into two types, complex organic molecules called coenzymes and inorganic ions. The inorganic ions are mostly metal ions, such as zinc or iron, and comprise the metals in metalloenzymes. If the cofactor is a small organic molecule, it is termed a coenzyme. Coenzymes are further divided into two types. The first type of coenzymes is called co-substrates and are transiently bound to the protein. Co-substrates dissociate from the enzyme in an altered state. They are bound like substrates during a reaction, undergo a chemical change, and are then released again. The original form of the coenzyme is regenerated by a second, independent reaction. The second type, on the other hand, is called a prosthetic group, which consists of a coenzyme that is tightly or even covalently and permanently bound to a protein. Prosthetic groups remain associated with the, the enzyme during the reaction. The part of the substrate bound by the coenzyme is later transferred to another substrate or coenzyme of the same enzyme. Both prosthetic groups and co-substrates have the same function, which is to facilitate the reaction of enzymes and proteins. So how do we define coenzymes? To explain them further, coenzymes are complex non-protein organic molecules that participate in catalysis by providing functional groups. However, in contrast to substrates for which a given enzyme is usually specific, Coenzymes cooperate with many enzymes of varying substrate specificity. Additionally, coenzymes commonly are derived from vitamins. For example, NAD plus contains niacin, and FAD contains riboflavin. However, there are three coenzymes that are not sourced from vitamins. These are coenzyme Q or ubiquinone, tetrahydrobioterin, and lipoic acid. Let us now proceed to the different classification of coenzymes. Each coenzyme is involved in catalyzing a specific type of reaction for a class of substrates with certain structural features. For our discussion, we will be dividing coenzymes into two general classifications. First, the oxidation reduction coenzymes and secondly, the activation transfer coenzymes. In this video, we will be tackling the first group, the coenzymes that participate in the transfer of hydrogen ions and electrons involved in reduction oxidation reactions or redox reactions. This particular group of coenzymes exhibit reduced and oxidized forms. These involve four coenzymes which are the following, pyridine nucleotides, flavin nucleotides, ubiquinone or coenzyme Q, and tetrahydrobiopterin. Many coenzymes are involved in oxidation reduction reactions catalyzed by enzymes categorized as oxidordictases. When a compound is oxidized, it loses electrons. As a result, the oxidized carbon has fewer hydrogen or H atoms or gains an oxygen atom. The reduction of a compound is the gain of electrons, which shows in its structure as the gain of hydrogen atom or loss of oxygen atom. Let us now discuss the first member of the redox coenzymes or the coenzymes facilitating oxidation reduction reactions. The first members are the pyridine nucleotides which are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide NED+, and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate or NEDP+. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is a coenzyme very important to metabolism. 
found in all living cells, and IDH is a dinucleotide because it consists of two nucleotides joined with their phosphate groups. One nucleotide contains an adenine nucleobase, IMP, and the other, a pyridine derivative, a nicotinamide. Because of such structure, an IDH is considered a pseudonucleotide. The coenzyme in ED is synthesized from the vitamin niacin, which forms the nicotinamide ring, and from ETP, which contributes an adenosine monophosphate or EMP. The functional group of an ED plus is the carbon on the nicotinamide ring opposite the positively charged nitrogen. This carbon atom accepts the hydride ion, a hydrogen atom that has two electrons, transferred from a specific carbon atom on the substrate. As mentioned, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is involved in redox reactions, carrying electrons from one reaction to another. This coenzyme is, therefore, found in two forms in cells, an oxidized form, abbreviated as NED+, and reduced form, abbreviated as NEDH. NED+, is an oxidizing agent. It accepts electrons from other molecules and becomes reduced. This reaction forms NEDH, which can then be used as a reducing agent to donate electrons. These electron transfer reactions are the main function of NED. They transport electrons as hydride ions. A hydride ion is composed of two electrons and a hydrogen ion and always act in soluble form. NED transfers reducing equivalents from catabolic pathways to the respiratory chain and thus contributes to energy metabolism. In contrast, reduced NEDP is the most important reductant involved in biosynthesis. Let's look at a particular example, the oxidation of lactate to pyruvate, the coenzyme NED plus accepting a hydride ion from lactate, low electron density at C4, the active site, hydride ion, and a quininoid structure are formed when electrons are given up from the aromatic pyridine ring and a d dependent dehydrogenase has catalyzed the transfer of a hydride ion from a carbon to an d in oxidation reactions such as the oxidation of alcohols to ketones or aldehydes to acids. The proton from the alcohol group is then released to water as H+. And IDP is bound to the apoenzyme via adenine, ribose, and pyrophosphate groups. And a DP plus functions by the same mechanism but it is usually involved in pathways of reductive synthesis. The second group of redox coenzymes are the flavin nucleotides, flavin adenine dinucleotide or FOD, and flavin mononucleotide abbreviated as FMN. FOD and FMN contain flavin or isoalexazine ring as a redox active group as part of the pseudonucleotide component and a sugar alcohol ribitol. These coenzymes are sourced from riboflavin or vitamin B2. This is a three-membered and containing ring system that can accept a maximum of two electrons and two protons during reduction. The active sites are found at the N1 and N5 of the isoalexacine ring which readily accepts and transfers electrons and protons in a stepwise manner to form a semiquinone intermediate. The oxidized form, FOD, is intensely colored and absorbs maximally at 450 nanometers. However, the reduced form, FADH2, is colorless. FMN carries the phosphorylated sugar alcohol ribitol at the flavin ring. The two coenzymes are functionally similar. They are found in dehydrogenases, oxidases, and monooxygenases. In contrast to the pyridine nucleotides, reactions involving flavin coenzymes give rise to radical intermediates like oxygen superoxide to prevent damage to cell components. The flavins always remain bound as prosthetic groups in the enzyme protein. The function of the flavin nucleotide coenzymes includes transfers of electrons and protons during redox reactions facilitated by succinate dehydrogenase in the citric acid cycle, fatty acyl-CoA dehydrogenase, and beta oxidation of fatty acids. The flavin nucleotide coenzymes are also components of alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase and a component of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. The next redox coenzyme is coenzyme Q, also known as ubiquinone. Coenzyme Q is a coenzyme family that is ubiquitous in animals and most bacteria, giving rise to its common name ubiquinone. Coenzyme Q is a 1,4-benziquinone, where Q refers to the quinone chemical group and a number following the term refers to the number of isoprenal chemical subunits in its tail. In natural ubiquinones, the number can be anywhere from 6 to 10. This family of fat-soluble substances, which resemble vitamins but are not sourced from them, is present in all respiring eukaryotic cells, primarily in the mitochondria. Coenzyme Q is the only component of the electron transport chain that is not protein-bound. The large hydrophobic side chain of 10 isoprenoid units, composed of 50 carbons, confers lipid solubility. Because of this, coenzyme Q can diffuse through the lipids of the inner mitochondrial membrane. The active sites of coenzyme Q involve carbons 1 and 4 of the benzequinone ring, with each carbon accepting a single electron. 
As we can see here, there are three redox states of CoQ. These are fully oxidized, known as ubiquinone, semiquinone, also referred to as ubismiquinone, and the fully reduced or the ubiquinol form. The capacity of this molecule to act as a two-electron carrier that is moving between the quinone and quinol form and a one-electron carrier. Moving between the semiquinone and one of these other forms is central to its role in the electron transport chain due to the iron-sulfur clusters that can only accept one electron at a time. When the oxidized quinone form accepts a single electron, it forms a free radical, a compound with a single electron in an orbital. The transfer of single electrons makes it the major site for generation of toxic oxygen-free radicals in the body. For its physical property, the oxidized quininoid form or ubiquinone absorbs strongly at 270 to 290 nanometers which disappears when reduced to the ubiquinol form. The last redox coenzyme in this group is tetrahydrobiopterin. Tetrahydrobiopterin, abbreviated as BH4 or sometimes THB, is a redox coenzyme involved in aromatic ring hydroxylation, primarily those of the aromatic amino acids. Chemically, tetrahydrobiopterin is biosynthesized from guanosine triphosphate or GTP by chemical reactions mediated by several enzymes. Let's look at a particular reaction involving tetrahydrobiopterin, the hydroxylation of phenylalanine to tyrosine. As we can see here, phenylalanine hydroxylase, abbreviated as PIH, is a mixed function oxidase. To review, a mixed function oxidase is an enzyme that facilitates the reaction wherein molecular oxygen or O2 donates one atom to water and one to the product, in this case, the amino acid tyrosine. In the process, the cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin or BH4 is oxidized to dihydrobiopterin, BH2, and must be reduced back to BH4 for phenylalanine hydroxylase to continue forming tyrosine. The reduction of BH2 to BH4 is mediated by the enzyme dihydropteridine reductase with the reduced NADH as source of reducing equivalence. Phenylketinuria, or PKU, results from deficiencies of phenylalanine hydroxylase known as the classic form, dihydropteridine reductase leading to deficiency of BH4, or the enzymes in the biosynthetic pathway for BH4. The deficiencies of the latter two result to the other types of PKU. Additionally, this coenzyme is used in the biosynthesis of the neurotransmitters serotonin, melatonin, dopamine, and the major monoamine neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and epinephrine. It is also a coenzyme for the production of nitric oxide by the nitric oxide synthesis. Thank you for watching the first part of the video series on the chemistry of coenzymes. Please click on the above link to watch the second part of the series, the group transferring coenzymes. This classification includes the coenzymes that carry groups other than hydrogen ions and electrons.